With the redevelopment, we've gone back to our founding principles and that ethos was for it to be a, a museum, a national museum for ordinary people. Right at the heart of St Fagans is, I think, cultural democracy. We decided that we were going to bring the community into every aspect of the decision making. We completely revamped the main building, providing now an excellent visitor experience with new galleries and an eight-fold increase in the learning spaces. But in one site, we've got so much to offer. We've got an open-air museum of over 40 re-erected buildings that have been moved from all parts of Wales. We've also created two new constructs out on site, an Iron Age farmstead and then a medieval prince's court based on archaeological evidence from Anglesey. Virtually everything you can see and everything that you touch at St Fagans has been shaped and formed by contributions from people from all over Wales. I think if anybody who visits St Fagans they'll see it's unique and it's, you know, the surroundings, it's so beautiful. There'll always be something different because the displays within the galleries change all the time. It belongs to everybody and we want everybody to be part of it.